Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Saturday morning. I quite literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago, if that, maybe 20 minutes ago. I always struggle with sleep, so I was actually up at like 4 in the morning, went back to sleep at 6, and woke back up at like 8.30, and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> but we're up in Adam. It is Saturday morning. We're going to head out to Trader Joe's because we want to try to beat the crowd. Usually LA is like a later crowd. People in LA kind of tend to roll in a little later, like 11 or 12, so we're going to try to get in early, get some Trader Joe's shopping done. I don't think we've been to Trader Joe's since probably like... Like, I want to say February or March. It's been a really long time, so that's definitely needed. I just feel like I need a Trader Joe's moment in my life. So we're going to grab some stuff. We'll probably get some coffee on the way. Um, we have plans tonight. We're going to a little comedy concert with one of my friends from high school, Lyra. It's for the TV show, I Think You Should Leave. It's Tim Robinson. Robinson? I'm going to have to brush up on some of the episodes because Drew thinks it is the funniest show in the entire world. Like, I would hear him crying laughing in the other room watching it and so the little bits that i've seen have been really funny so that show is at the greek theater tonight which i've never been to before um so that'll be really really fun and exciting that's at like eight o'clock so we're really gonna be struggling we're gonna be struggling to keep awake but we're gonna do it potentially going to the rose bowl tomorrow as well we're gonna wait and see on that um but yeah that's pretty much the plan for this weekend i did have like several social plans this week that i absolutely had to cancel i just felt like, I don't know, normalize not going and hanging out with people if you're not feeling well or if you're just not feeling like mentally up to it or just like that you're being your usual self, you know? I have felt just really under the weather uh, for most of this week, just kind of depressy, if you will. Um, and so I just like, Ended up canceling my plans. I was supposed to go on a hike this morning. Didn't end up making it. But we're gonna reschedule all of that and it's gonna be fine. And this feels, this feels right. I just need to ground myself a little bit. You know what I mean? So anyway, I am wearing a very casual, I don't, do you call this an outfit? It's like pajamas elevated. It might as well be pajamas, but I have this Taylor Swift. This is the only, I think, official Taylor Swift merch that I own, pretty much. Oh, except my little red sweater over here. This is a very cute sweater, but it is very difficult to style. Anyways, so I have my Taylor Swift sweatshirt on. Any of the Lakes fans out there, let's make some noise. Let's hear ya. I absolutely love this sweatshirt. Um, and then I have my go-to Dodgers hat that I've probably had since 2014. Remember when it was like the thing to wear these hats? Well, I'm still wearing them. Have my nice gold hoops on to try and make it look like I didn't just roll out of bed. We have some Target leggings and some knockoff Birkenstocks. These are from, I think, Kohl's, but I might have thrifted these. I can't remember. And that is today's Luke. We're serving looks today. I'm gonna grab some, do I grab sunglasses? I'll probably need regular glasses. I can't see these days. And we're gonna head to Trader Joe's and we'll see what we end up getting. Finally, a Trader Joe's haul. I'm so excited. We got our Trader Joe's bags, we're ready to go. <laughs> Drew said, luckily I have purse. I have purse, <laughs> I have shoe. I have hat on head. I could not begin to describe how much we have run that into the ground. Like I don't even think that's funny anymore. And like, when we were in San Diego last weekend, you kept like holding my, I think I was like taking off my sweatshirt a lot and like putting it back on. And every time you'd be like, luckily I had furs. And poor Sierra, she was probably like, are you guys okay? Like literally I say it daily. I'm obsessed. It's a TikTok <clears throat> in case you didn't know. They know. Not everybody knows. Do I? <laughs> I don't like my whole life. Trader Joe's haul. We did go a little overboard as per usual, but I feel like that's, you know, we haven't been in a couple months. So we just wanted to try some new things. This isn't like our groceries for the week, but some of it. So anyway, okay, starting off, we got some Greek yogurt. I got some plain and I got the honey flavor to try. So we'll see if that's good. This is a staple for us. If you've watched, then you know, but these frozen rice, this is like the only good microwave rice that I've tried from like a major grocery store that's not like an Asian grocery store. It's really, really, really good. So you just throw it in the microwave. Um, what else? We have two of these. 
these spaghetti carbonaras. He likes to make these for lunch sometimes. You literally just throw it in a pan. We have two things of mashed potatoes. Again, just for convenience. Sometimes you just need to throw something on the stove and go. Instead of like peeling and boiling and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't taste as good, don't get me wrong, but it's nice for convenience. I got one of these chicken wraps with pesto vinaigrette. I've eaten these for years. It's just nice to have for lunch. Delicious. Drew got these Dutch griddle cakes. He really likes these. They're like thick and delish. We have three bags of my favorite sweet potato gnocchi. I love this stuff. It is so good. I am obsessed. All right. Drew's in the bathroom. It's only good stuff. But... All right. Next up, we have another cool bag. You dancing? Ew. We were listening to I cry a lot but I am so productive Drew loves that song He puts it on in the car every time Alright, we have Green beans Nice Iceberg lettuce Green abinas, sorry That's what I used to call them as a child And Drew will only accept us calling them green abinas Ooh, this is actually one of the new things we wanted to try um, And these are Japanese souffle cheesecakes these look so good. And I mean, we tried one of them when we were in Japan and it was very eggy. So I'll be curious to see what this is like. This entire thing is almost weightless. I'll be so interested. So yeah, we got those to try. Quite excited about that. We got some strawberries just to have. Got some Parmesan cheese. Got their um, vegan kale, cashew, basil, pesto. This is actually a really good, um, call me crazy, but I've never liked store-bought pesto. We are just walking TikTok, people. Um, this is a new thing that we haven't tried yet either that we're curious about. I mentioned in a recent vlog that Herdez does like a guacamole salsa. I just realized my camera is crooked. We're gonna ignore that. They're always sold out of that one, so I decided to try this one. It's called guaca salsa. And it's, you know, a guac salsa combo. So we'll see how that is. Got some frozen garlic. These are so convenient. They're just little cubes that you just pop them out when you're cooking. It's nice to have. We sometimes use that, sometimes use fresh, sometimes have the minced kind in the fridge. We just use whatever. And um, we got two ground turkeys for various things. We have these pesto chicken breasts. These are like a pre-marinated. They're quite salty, but they are good just to have for when you're in a pinch. Don't know what to make and they last in the fridge for a while and then some hot dogs drew was in the mood for he's actually been craving hot dogs <laughs> he's so american i don't want healthy food i like hot dogs i don't like healthy foods if you know that reference we're best friends all right next up we got a bag of limes i'm gonna like try to make more mocktails and cocktails and stuff because we really like it when we do we just i don't know we're not big drinkers at home but we'll see got some bananas just one bundle that's gonna be my legacy, I swear. It's like the girl who ordered eight bottles of bananas. Drew likes these pizza flavored pillow crisps. He got two of those. Those are pretty good. If you like pizza flavored things, they're like very light and airy, they're good. Got some seaweed just to have for our salmon bowl. Drew has like little tuna bowls with lunch sometimes too. We got these tortilla chips to try with the guaca salsa. And these have like a little bit of lime flavoring on them. They're good. This is a new thing we got to try. They're triple ginger pretzels. Yes, please. Teeny tiny pretzels covered in a ginger candy coating topped with crystallized ginger and ginger snaps. I will be trying those immediately. I'm gonna keep those out. We got some penne pasta. That's for butter noodles, obviously. And then these are the tiniest chocolate chip cookies. These just look so cute. Like you can sprinkle these on a yogurt bowl or ice cream, or I've even seen people eat this like cereal. <laughs> you put it in a bowl and put like cookie crisp in them. Put some milk on it, so that's good. We got this Sauvignon de Segui. Segui. Um, we actually brought this with us to San Diego. And Steven and Sierra really liked it, and so did we. So, got another one to have. And then the last bag, thank you. And then the last bag is a bag of peaches. But these are like little baby peaches. Aren't they so cute? And I am like, I am a stone fruit ride or die girly. I love any kind of stone fruit, honestly. So, so good. And that was like the first of the season that I've seen so far. So I was excited. We'll try them and see if they're good. Got some lemons to go with the limes. 
This is another new thing. I've seen this on TikTok and it's brown sugar boba mochi. So it's soft and chewy rice cake, so it's like the mochi with a gooey boba pearl center. Uh, yeah, I wanna try that. We've got some marinara or tomato basil sauce, whatever. We got some fruit leathers. We got apple strawberry, apple blueberry, apple raspberry, and I think apple wildberry. So I've got a few of those because we're still children at heart. They're so good. Don't sleep on those. These are the grown-up version. Yeah, they are the grown-up version. I used to hate the real fruit ones when I was a kid. I was like, I want the plastic ones, you know? Got some linguine. Got some brioche hot dog buns. Oh, this is a spaghetti. Oh, it's like, oh, bitch. <laughs> we got some hot dog buns for Drew's hot dogs. I mean, I'm not opposed to having a hot dog. So I might have me one too. Um, I like this lemony arugula basil salad kit. It comes with everything in it and then I'll add like a few more nuts or like crunchy bits and then I'm so sorry. Sometimes I, <laughs> I just happened. It's okay, it's real life. Um, so I'll just throw like a, like a Morningstar Farms chicken patty on there or whatever and it's good. Okay, we got some apple chips and some banana chips. I love fruit chips, oh my God, so good. Got some Parmesan cheese, but like the powdery kind. You gotta have both for different things. Got some bell peppers, some mini bell peppers to have for travel bowls and things like that. Got some onions, a red and a white or yellow or whatever that is. Got some ginger. <laughs> Drew likes to eat this just as is. He's a member of Tummy Ache Girl Nation as well, so you get it. Um, an avocado. And then finally, two honey crisp apples. And that's what we got at Trader Joe's. That was kind of a lot. It was very expensive. We were like, what are, what, what is happening? The cart is overflowing, but it's really good. Okay, let's put this away and then we'll try these two things. Oh, and I always forget to show the flowers, but we got this bouquet of sunflowers because they're Drew's mom's favorite flower. By the time you guys see this, Mother's Day will have already come and gone, but we didn't get to go home this year for Mother's Day, which is the first year in like, I don't know, since we moved back. But um, yeah, we just, we had stuff going on. Couldn't manage it. But I think we're gonna go back to Arizona in like a couple weeks, so. It's fine. All right, let's try these, these sweet treats. We're gonna try it. We have the boba mochi. Oh, they're individually wrapped, of course. And then we have the triple ginger pretzels. Ooh, it's very, like, uh, squishy. That's the word I'm looking for. Googie. <gasps> it's googie. Here, it's what it looks like. That's the person we have locked in here. <laughs> yeah, don't mind. Okay. Cheers! Mmm. Really soft. Mm hmm Here's what it looks like on the inside. Mmm. It's good. Not very sweet. Mm-mm. All right, now let's just try... Ooh. I am getting like a... Like a strong ginger smell. Let's try these ginger pretzels. They're very, very little. Oh, my God. Here's what they look like. Okay, cheers! Oh. Yeah. Quite good. Tasty. If you like ginger, definitely grab those. Ginger. All right, we're gonna clean up this kitchen, get our flowers set up, and then who knows what we're doing today? Who knows? I need to take a shower. I have an oil mask on my hair underneath this, so that'll probably be first priority. So pretty. All right, it's a little while later. I'm gonna make a little late breakfast snack type of thing. I'm gonna do my like go-to breakfast. If you can hear my neighbor's dog barking in the background, I do apologize. Also the dishwasher is going, but it's fine. We're gonna just keep it moving. Um, but I have been like making this as my go-to breakfast forever. And in case you're needing a little breakfast inspo, I'm doing just like a plain Greek yogurt and then I'm gonna sweeten it a little bit with some maple syrup. This is like pure maple syrup. I do like, I think probably a teaspoon I would say. So I just mix that all up. Sometimes I like doing just like plain unsweetened yogurt. Sometimes I like the vanilla ones and the pre-sweetened ones or the artificially sweetened ones, whatever. But sometimes I just like being able to like control the level of sweetness that I want because I love like a tart yogurt. So, okay. Got that, got our sweetened yogurt. Then I'm gonna do some raspberries. These look delish and I'm literally gonna dump all of them because I love raspberries. Oh, I forgot one of my favorite ingredients, but We'll show that in a minute. So then you gotta have some crunch, obviously. So I'm gonna do some of this maple almond butter granola. This is from Whole Foods. 
Oh, it's so cute already. And then lately, I don't know what made me think of this, but I was like, what if I put either like chocolate chips or white chocolate chips in there? Just like a few sprinkled in for a sweet little treat and it's divine. So I'm gonna put white chocolate chips in it. If I had smaller ones, it would be even better, but these are just the normal sized ones. So you just take a few white chocolate chips and you sprinkle them over the top. I think I got this idea because of those uh what brand makes it it's like the flips yogurts and there was like a key lime pie one that's sort of where i got the idea and it's i mean is it the healthiest thing in the world not i don't know i don't care but it is so good just trust me you gotta try it it's divine i'll take a little bite for you and show you All right, just finished my breakfast, sitting here watching some YouTube videos. It's like one of my favorite things to do is just sit here at my desk, watch YouTube videos while I eat and get to catch up, watch my faves, you know, see what's going on in the youtube.com internet space. And now I actually have a little bit of work to catch up on. I didn't end up finishing it up yesterday. I don't typically work on weekends besides like vlogging occasionally, but um, I'm just kind of behind. So I really want to get ahead. I just have been struggling to, keep up this week and thank goodness i have a job where i have the flexibility to be able to like take the rest of the day off if i need to like relax or rest my brain or whatever and pick it up another day so i have a voiceover to film for a fitting room video that's gonna go up tomorrow actually so i need to upload that after i record the voiceover basically i have the edited video from my editor and then um, i'm gonna record the voiceover over it and then i will upload it and you know do all that stuff so that's what we're gonna do now. I am so bad at voiceovers. I feel like I just never know what I'm saying and always end up messing up and it takes me a really long time, but that's okay. So we have that to do. And then I think I'm actually gonna film a little bit for another branded video coming up where it's just like a little segment and we actually got a new mattress, which I'm very excited about. So that'll be cool. So we need to set that up. So I'll probably do that because it's like sweaty and heavy and <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of manpower. Like Drew and I will both need to do it. So maybe I'll do that before I take a shower. But in the meantime, we're doing this voiceover. Okay, it's literally like two hours later. Um, I have just been quite busy getting some work done but drew very kindly put some lunch for me in the oven which is one of my favorite little pot pies from crusty's which is like our literal favorite local i guess bakery i don't know they, they make pies and they're so freaking good i think this one is a veggie pot pie i hear you i'm just gonna put it on my plate and let it cool off a little bit because i'm gonna scald my mouth otherwise oh god Okay, she's gonna cool for a bit. And then while I was editing, I got a delivery from Etsy, which this, thank God, this was one of the Etsy packages that survived, it made it. And I got myself one of those little charm necklaces. Alexa and I had kind of been talking about going to, I think it's called Brooklyn Charm, where you can make your own custom charm necklace. And I love the idea of that, but that's like a solid hour away. And so I'm just kind of lazy. And so I found this shop on Etsy that has dead stock vintage brass charms. And then you can choose the ones you want. And I'm so excited. So it's called Shop Softscapes. Here it is. Cute little horseshoe stamp. So here is what necklace I chose. I'm so I think I went with five different charms, yes. Okay, so let me open this up. Okay, so I thought they were gonna be spaced out um, because that's how they had the five charm, I think the example on the website, but like you could easily get little pliers and space them out yourself. So I think I might do that, but I went with a five charm necklace. It's a lot more lightweight and delicate than I thought it was gonna be. So just keep that in mind, like it feels very, Thin, but it's really cute. So here are the five different charms that I went with. I think they're precious So this first one is a teacup because it just reminds me of like the UK and like our special trip that we took there And all the trips that I've taken with Alexa and like my obsession with everything UK since I was younger And then we have a rosebud which I was nicknamed rosebud by my great-grandma who passed when I was probably like 12, 11, something like that. And so that was like my nickname growing up. Then we have a little good luck charm because it's like, almost looks like a little locket and you just, you never know. You need all the good luck you can get. We have a cowboy boot 
to represent my time in Tennessee, you know, even Arizona really, because that's just such a huge part of who I am. And then we also have a horseshoe because I am a horse girl, if anyone didn't know. I grew up being a horse girl and I love it. So that's what we have. I'm gonna have to be really, really careful with it because it does feel very delicate and very thin. Like these aren't these like heavyweight charms or necklaces, but like how cute is that gonna be? Adorable. So anyways, thought I would show you what I got. I'm going to dig into my pot pie because it is now almost two o'clock. We're probably gonna need to get going in like, I don't know, let's say we should leave by like six, 6.30, something like that. But that took so much longer than I thought it was gonna take. I ended up having to do like some editing and just like fixing some things and adding some screenshots and all that kind of stuff. So I ended up editing for a lot longer than I planned, but at least it's done now. It is uploading. I will schedule it for tomorrow. By the time you see this, it will long be up. And yeah, maybe I'll have some time to like lay down and rest a little bit before we go tonight. But then I'm scared if I lay down on the couch, I'm not gonna to get back up. So we'll see what happens. I will be enjoying my pie. I'm so excited. It is the next day. It's just before 9 a.m. We had such a fun time last night. That was such a funny show and we really enjoyed it. So that was definitely a night well spent. I looked over at Drew multiple times and he had tears coming out of his eyes. Like he was literally crying. He was laughing so hard. So that was great. I just ate a perfect bar. Um, so I probably have peanut butter in my teeth, but it is Sunday morning now and we're gonna head off on our little Sunday morning routine. We're gonna do some coffee. We're gonna take a little walk. We, I think found an estate sale nearby that we can swing by. It's like the last day so it might not be great and then maybe like the farmer's market or something and then we're gonna head home and just relax because this has definitely been a weekend of like go 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 and I need a little bit of chill time because I am an introvert so that's what we're gonna do so let's go do it it is so dark in here I am so sorry farmer's market i met the sweetest viewer named franny at the farmer's market so if you were watching this hey girl it's so nice to meet you you were so sweet and your makeup was beautiful anyways we picked up a few things at the farmer's market the first being these french pastries oh my god drew got a raspberry jelly donut which i think we've shown before but look at that that looks like it's gonna be unreal there she is, the raspberry. And then I got a Queen Amon, which looks phenomenal. We will definitely be eating those immediately. We also got, what else did we get? Ooh, we got some chips and salsa, and these looked so good. They're like super authentic. We got a tomatillo salsa, which is the superior, superior salsa in my opinion. And then we got these cactus chips. So they're like tortilla chips, but they have cactus in them. And she said it makes them like crispier. And she said they were her favorite. So we got those. We got some fresh squeezed OJ. I got the regular OJ this time, not the like grapefruit one. And then we got crusties, which I think I already showed in this vlog. <laughs> and we got three chili cheese pies. Where are they? These like chili pot pies are unreal. And then we got two chicken pot pies. So we're gonna put those in the freezer. And that's what we got at the farmer's market. Super quick. I'm gonna put this over some ice, but yeah, we were only gone for like a couple hours and it was lovely. We got some steps in, we enjoyed the weather. I mean, it's cloudy, but like it's not hot. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, it was a great little morning out and we're pretty much just gonna hunker down the rest of the day, like finish our laundry, order some other groceries that we weren't able to get at Trader Joe's yesterday and then just like absolutely chill, you know? Just really, really chill to the max. But let me put these away and then we'll try the pastries. The orange juice is so fresh squeezed that it's literally like warm. So I'm gonna pour it over some ice. Oh, it looks so good. 
so good. And they literally just set this down in the ice as we were getting it. So it is quite literally less than an hour ago squeezed and I'm so excited. Oh my God. Cheers. This is my favorite. Oh, so good. More tart than sweet. I do prefer a little bit of a sweeter orange juice, but this is still really, really good. All right, let's try this Queen Amon. Look at this beauty. The best one is from a bakery in Larchmont Village called Clark Street. I think they have them all over LA actually, but I haven't tried this one yet, so let's see. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Mm -mm -mm. I also have to try a bite of Drew's donut. I know he won't mind. He's on the phone with his mom because it's Mother's Day. Cheers. Oh, wow. Divine. I'm gonna save him a bite of this one too. Happy Sunday. Oh, the estate sale that we went to, it was already picked through, but they had some cool art and the house was amazing, but we didn't get anything. Just as an update. I just finished doing some editing and getting some steps in and I realized I forgot to end this vlog. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this weekend vlog and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.